So the OLTS85 is part of our Smart Class Fiber family of products, uh, which all have the same basic form and shape to them. So if you look at it from the side, you'll see that there are connections at the bottom uh, where you can plug in power. You have USB ports for connecting things like USB sticks or our P5000i digital inspection probe that we'll show in later videos, as well as a micro USB for taking test results off the uh, instrument to reporting software. On the back of it, there is a kickstand and there is also a stylus so that if you're typing on the screen, it's sometimes easier to use the stylus. At the top of the instrument, and you'll notice it's labeled as a local and you'll see in later videos, we do have a remote as well. We have a cap that if we open up, we see the various connections that are available for the OLTS-85. And we have a single mode source, we have a multi-mode source, and we have a shared receiver. You can buy this product with just single mode or just with multi-mode. This is our quad version. And you notice that the shared receive port has thumb screws so that it can be replaced from an LC to different types of connectors based on the system that you're testing. We also have a patch cord microscope on the left-hand side. It is available with or without a patch cord microscope. We strongly recommend the PCM be used uh, and purchased. And then at the top, in this particular case, we've come with a duplex LC adapter for inspecting our LC uh, fibers. So that's physically how the unit is set up. And then when we look at it from uh, how you actually navigate and use it, and we do have this quarter VGA touchscreen as well as the keypad, and you can really navigate by using the keypad or by touching the screen or a combination of both. And most people we find tend to use a combination of both as they as they see fit. Uh, from the keypads, the home button will always take you back to this home screen. We have a menu button, which pops up a menu in certain situations, and you can also tap the screen to get that menu button. And we have the back that you already see me using that. So if I type something and I want to go back, I can use the back button. We have a workflow button that we'll cover in later videos that takes you from application to application. We have a save button and there's power and there's keypad, etc. But you can also do a lot of this by tapping on the screen. So the home screen I'll come back to in a second. We have a at the bottom left, you'll see there's a settings icon and when you go into that you can turn on wi-fi bluetooth which are through usb dongles that we don't have connected right now you can adjust the brightness of the screen and you have a help which will show you your software revision that's installed and you have a more button and the more button has all your administrative functions like your auto off your screen saver your language your date and time uh, etc to it then in the center here on the left hand side we have a management icon and this is where you set up a project and you'll notice right now we have the project at the top called viavi rocks uh, we can come into the project screen and we can remove we can add we can copy and we can set active various projects so on this particular instrument i just have a default project and i have the viavi rocks project which is the one that we're going to be working in and you can see that it's already active then we get into our home screen. This is our test tool home screen. And you see that we have, in this case, six applications installed. So there's a loss length application, which is where we will focus in, in our future videos. And we have a loss application, which is for doing a loopback test. We have a power meter, we have a source. We have the probe, which is the P5000i plugged in to inspect fiber end faces. And we have the patch cord microscope, which is using this here. In it.